careful. What the? No, 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 no. Why, why is it? Why is it going faster? No. Oh, hey, 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 mom. I. Uh, what's going on? Are you, you okay? Hey, hey, hey. Stop going so fast. Doctors, help! Doctors, uh, help me in here, please. Help now. Uh, hey, mom. I, I need. I need you to wake up, please. Okay. Hey. Uh. Shoot. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Oh. Mom, please, please wake up. Wake. Oh. No 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 What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? No no this no this can't be happy no no It's the start of May 2023. I finally made the decision. The decision to get away from my old life and hopefully find a new. After my mom died, my life has been even more depressing. I needed an escape. A way out. I finally found it one day. And now here I am. In the middle of nowhere. Driving in a national park I didn't know of. To a job I didn't even know still existed. I got a position as a fire lookout in Pinecrest National Park. All I really had to do is, well, find it. I was stupid enough to only have my phone as a way to use maps. But my phone died about 30 minutes ago. And I guess I forgot my charger at home. Damn it, Elliot. See if I can get some directions here, and maybe some coffee as well, actually. Hey, a new face. What can I get you? Hi, uh, can I, can I get a coffee, please? Sure thing. One second. Here you go, sugar. If you need anything else, don't be shy. Thank you. Hey, um, do you happen to know where Pinecrest National Park is by any chance? <laughs> Honey, you must not be from around here. Well, she was right. I really had no idea where I was. Because the woods around us is part of the park. I'm so dumb. I knew this. I literally had to get a park pass earlier and hang it from my car mirror. <laughs> No harm in that. What brings you here? Looking for a good place to camp? Uh, no. I, I have a job here, actually. Job here? Are you some sort of ranger? Oh, no, no, no. I, I got a job as a fire lookout in Pinecrest. Oh, really? I didn't realize there still were lookouts in Pinecrest. Thought the park would have invested in drones or something by now. <laughs> well, for my sake, they haven't yet. 
Hmm. Well, judging by where you are right now, you must be looking for the eastern ranger station to get into the main park area. Uh, yeah, I, I am actually. But do you know where that is? Yep, just keep driving north for about 30 minutes and take a ride at the smoke of the bear sign. Can't miss it. Then the next left from there in about five minutes, you should have made it. Right past Smokey the Bear. Okay, noted. Well, thank you so much, actually. Of course, sugar. You better get going soon if you want to get there before nightfall. I had completely lost sense of time without my phone. I, I really was doomed out there, huh? Wow, oh, is that late already? Yeah, you're probably right. Well, thank you again. No problem. Here, I'll put your coffee into the disposable cup so you can take it with you. Well, the directions she gave did end up being real. I won't lie and not say, almost didn't get lost after the Smokey the Bear sign. Oh boy, man. I won't lie, but I am kind of nervous about this job. And the hike. Man, I, I really hope the hike isn't long. Well, this, this must be it. The area was very desolate, but the little cabin in the woods with its windows lit up by the light inside, surrounded by the tall trees, was honestly kind of comforting. Uh, um, hello, uh, I'm, I'm Ellie. Elliot, you finally made it. I'm starting to worry you may have ditched us. <laughs> uh, no, 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 sorry, I just running really late. Ah, oh, no worries. At least you're here now. Come, come. Follow me in my office. All right. Elliot, Elliot. Ah, so I've already got all your information from your application you set in. Thank goodness for technology. That shortens us all down by like an hour. All right, Elliot, age 24. First time in a position like this. You are now the official fire lookout of Tower 3. For your first term, you'll be here for the rest of the summer and a little some after. And uh, you'll be making $30 an hour, as you know. First term, huh? I never really thought about if I'd keep doing this job afterwards. Better than minimum wage, I guess. That it is, that it is. That should be all. Uh, let me introduce you to everyone before we go. Before we go? Yep. I usually I take the ranger up the trail a little with you and your stuff, but it's out of service right now. So instead, I'll hike you up about a quarter of the way. Then you'll have to do the rest on your own. Oh, okay. Well, good thing I didn't bring much then. Just some clothes, some snacks, books, and my phone, really. I didn't really bring much. There wasn't too much to bring anyway. I wasn't much of a reader either, but I've always wanted to be, so I guess being stuck in a desolate tower for half a year by myself was the perfect time to do so. Well, with a lot of, a lot of stuff, the hike shouldn't be as bad then. Uh, let me introduce you to the others. Come on now. Rich, Malachi, this is Elliot. Nice to meet you. Guess you're not the youngest anymore, Rich. Yeah, well, you're still the oldest. All right, you two. Yeah, they know how to bug each other. Yeah, I, I can tell. Where's Amber? She took the night off. Some family stuff came up. Wait, she gets days off and I don't? How is that fair? Rich, your days off usually consist of going home, playing games, and buying pizza. Yeah, so what? These are the people I gotta deal with, Elliot. <sighs> All right, you two. You should be good for the night once the paperwork is done. Remember, radio's on. On it. Just gotta finish teaching Malachi how to send me the papers via email first. Hey now, at least I know how to read a phone book. 
who still uses phone books? Let's, let's go, Elliot. Night, Gary. Night, Elliot. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you, Elliot. Good luck with the hike. Well, they seem like fun. More like a pain in my rear end. Anyway, there usually is a third at this station, Amber. But, like they said, she took the night off. I'm sure you'll meet her eventually. Anyway, we should get going. It's getting darker by the second. Well, this is as far as I'll be going, Elliot. These old legs can't keep up like they used to. <laughs> Darn, well, okay. What time do you think I'll get there? Well, it was about 8.15 when I left. If you keep making good time, you should be there by morning. It's about a 15-hour hike from the station to Tower 3, and that's if you don't stop. Oh, uh, 15 hours, huh? I'm not a fast hiker, so probably more like 17. Oh man, what did I get myself into? Yeah, they don't really put that on the job resume. It scares some people away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no kidding. Gary was out of breath. I can tell he hasn't hiked this much in a long time. Wasn't lying about using the Ranger. Don't be nervous, you'll be fine. You got your light and bear spray to keep you safe. Once you get there, head straight to sleep. But in the morning, make sure you do your first weather report. Hopefully you read the email I sent you on how to work everything. Yeah, yeah, I did. Doesn't mean I really understood it all yet, though. But I'm sure I'll get the hang of it. Good. Once you do your report, I'll know you made it safe and sound. Once you're there, you'll find your radio. I've instructed the other lookouts to give you a warm welcome. There will be others up there? No, you'll have a radio. You will be alone up there, hours from really any proper civilization in the other lookouts. You may stumble across hikers now and then, but that's about it. Oh, that's... Uh, okay. Listen, don't worry. You'll be fine. Just don't let the loneliness get to you, okay? Keep yourself busy. You'd be surprised how easily it is to keep yourself busy up there. If you ever need help, just radio in. If you ever need supplies, just radio in. We do a supply drop about every month, so make sure you write down whatever you get low on. And, uh, we'll be in regular contact through the radios. Yeah, uh, yeah I'll, I'll, I'll try. Uh, I, I really like hiking, so I don't think it should be, should be that bad. 
<laughs> That's the spirit. Well, you better get going. The other lookouts will explain the rest to you once you're up there. Well, all right. Well, thank you. Thank you, Gary. No problem. And uh, have a good hike. It's beautiful out here. Uh, see you in a couple months. Okay, I finally, finally made it. PM already? I must have slept through the first night. Uh, <laughs> my back. I guess I never really looked around yesterday. So much dust on everything. Man, this place was dusty. You'd think they would have cleaned it all up before I Elliot, left. <laughs> you there? <sighs> Elliot, oh, come in. Shoot, I, I forgot to call in. Hello? Uh, Elliot, do you copy? Elliot, come in. Uh, yeah, uh, Elliot here. Uh, sorry. Uh, sorry, yeah, I forgot to, forgot to call in. Oh, there you are. I told Andrew you made it. We didn't, uh, we didn't hear anything from you yesterday when you were supposed to arrive, so, uh, Andrew and Gary have started to get worried. It, yeah, uh, sorry. It, it was a really long hike, and by the time I got here, it just kind of collapsed. What, uh, what time did you get there? Judging by how late Gary said you guys left, I'm assuming, like, 6 a.m.-ish? Elliot? Um, 2 p.m. in the afternoon, I think. Huh. Well, <laughs> at least you made it anyway. Uh, I'm Lucas, over in Tower 1. Well, you already seem to know who I am, but I'm Elliot. Yeah, uh, Gary gave us a quick briefing on you. Nothing specific, just your name and tower, pretty much. Us? Yup. I mean, you really thought I was the only one up here? I'm Tower 1, then there's Tower 3, which is you, obviously. Tower 4 with Andrea, and then there's Tower 5 with Earl. He's a bit of an old grump, though. Oh, yeah. I I should have known there was more. Sorry, I'm just tired. Are they able to hear us right now, like, on the radio? No worries, man. We're all tired after that hike, and, uh, no. They, they aren't. Uh, basically, we have radio comms set up kind of weird due to distance and, well, 
budget constraints. So I have access to all of you. I'm in the main tower. I can reach any of the other towers and the ranger station. Earl is only a couple miles next to me, so I'm able to contact him, and he can contact me and the station. As for you and Andrea, however, it's not the same. You can contact me and Andrea, but not the station or Earl, and vice versa with her. Oh, okay. Um, question. So what if I need to contact the station or Earl? Well, I... I... You won't really need to contact Earl unless you want him to get mad at you for bothering his peace and quiet. And as for the station, you just have to go through me. So if you ever need anything or having any issues or whenever you, you, we uh, do our monthly resupplies, you'll just have to contact me and I'll contact them. So don't worry. I'm a, I'm a light sleeper, honestly, and the radio always wakes me up. Wow, that's... Okay, that's a lot. I feel like I should be writing this down or something. Or maybe I'm just still tired say what if for some reason like i i can't get to you honestly a good question well there's three things you can do number one contact andrea and see if she can uh reach out to me two you can hike over to me or the station and three well if you hike down old pine you should reach a cliffside for some reason over there your radio should get enough service to re reach the station but that's like a four hour hike not even counting the hike back. The trails are also really hard to hike, so only do that in an emergency. Hmm. Uh, well, okay, well, I'll try not to break my radio anytime soon then. See, that's the spirit. Anyway, now that you're in your tower, I'm going to run you through some more of the basics, okay? So your tower is currently stocked to the brim with all the water, snacks, protein bars, and ingredients to make your own food and coffee. Pretty much anything you need to, su to survive off of is just up in there with you. At the end of the month, the rangers do a supply drop, usually dropped by helicopter. Well, but by, by helicopter? Uh, yep. It used to be via ranger before, but ever since the one year where I ran out of food and had to survive off of coffee for a week, they uh, have been sending a lot more supplies. A lot more supplies means they're shipped in bigger crates, bigger crates, too big for the ranger, helicopters. Wow. Well, I don't usually eat a whole lot, so I, I think I should be good. <laughs> Not me. I'm a big snacker, so I go through lots fast. I recommend making like a grocery list or something throughout the month. If you're running low on anything, write it down. Don't be afraid to be greedy. I always make sure to get those uh extra of the chewy granola bars. Do they take custom orders by any chance? Uh, I mean, yeah, sometimes. What you thinking? Um, I'd be like ketchup chips what what kind of chips are you never never, never mind they're uh they're uh, Can uh canada exclusive i think i had them on a trip there once uh-huh well uh if you think of anything else let me know okay you'll find uh most of your current surprise or extra supplies downstairs in the shed outdoors along with firewood gas for the generators and just some other miscellaneous stuff uh Shed outside? I, generators? I didn't see a shed. Here, hold on a minute. Oh! Wait, never mind. Uh, I see it. it was, I was really tired when I got here. Also, generators? I thought in the advertisement it said that this place had a solar array. Yeah, I, I figured. Uh, it does. We just have the gas generators as a backup. The solar array doesn't provide much wattage, I won't lie, they kind of cheaped out on them. But it does get the job done for the lights in the computer, I guess, as long as it's sunny. If it ever isn't working, the generator's downstairs and the fuel's in the shed. Just please, use it, use it lightly. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do, uh, we'll do. Good, good. So you already have been trained on how to do the, uh, the weather reports and such, right? Uh, yep, uh, seems, seems simple enough. Good, okay, well, I'll leave it to you then. Uh, Gary expects one from us each uh, today before 6 o'clock, so get to it. If you need anything else, feel free to contact me, Elliot. I imagine you'll hear from Andrew soon enough. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll get on that once I get some coffee in me. Hey, 
Sounds like a plan. In case I don't hear from you for the rest of the rest of today, welcome to Pinecrest National Park. I honestly really do hope you enjoy your stay. Make sure to keep yourself busy, man. Don't be like Earl. I swear, the loneliness will get to that old geezer sometimes. Sheesh. Uh, also, don't be a stranger. I'm always here to talk. I'm probably missing some stuff, but uh, if I remember, I'll make sure to radio you and let you know. Anyways, have a good rest of your day, Elliot. Oh, oh. Alright. Have your rest of your day, Lucas. Thank you. Alright, time to get some coffee, because I am tired. Oh, this generic brand. Alright, weather report done. Took a lot longer than I, I had hoped. Probably because I think this computer is still on Windows 7. It wasn't too hard to figure out. Gary's instructions on the email was pretty easy to follow. Oh, okay. I guess I should probably check out the shed uh, which was talking about. Seen better days, huh? I'm gonna, I'm gonna run down a little bit. Huh. Uh, Lucas, uh, you copy? It's, uh, it's me, Elliot. You copy? Uh, well, what's up? I, uh, I tried getting into the supply shed, but the, the door seems to be locked. Hmm, really? We usually keep them, uh, locked between seasons to prevent, you know, animals or hikers from getting in. I thought the key should be up in your tower. Uh, alright, well, uh, I'll check that. I, I guess I should have checked there first before calling you. Uh, thanks. Yeah, no problem. Tower one out. There we go, this should... There we go. Door unlocked. Wow, that's... Well, that's a lot of stuff. How the heck did they even run out of food in a month? This could last me a year. The food wasn't anything crazy. Just some things you'd find in, in the survival section of a Cabela's or something. All kind of bland. I was definitely going to put in some custom requests for the next food drop. Wow, it's a good thing they locked this place up. I'm sure a Hydra would have loved this. A Nutri... Grain... Bar... Extra... Grain? Who on earth wants an extra grain? Wait. If my shed was locked, why wasn't my tower locked? Now that I've thought about it, now that I'm looking at everything, all the boxes of supplies and everything are just kind of everywhere. You'd think 
they would be put away nicely, not just all over the place like this. Almost like someone went through it all. Whoa, wait. So where would the tower key even be? Did did Gary give it to me last night? I immediately went to the drawer where I had stuffed all my stuff after the trip here. And wouldn't you know, there was the tower key stuffed in my backpack. Gary did give it to me. But I didn't use the key to get in the tower the day I got here. The tower was unlocked. And the stuff inside everywhere. Was someone in the tower before I came here? 